bad credit, Ted's can get you in that vehicle for as little as $80 a week. You're approved on stability and employment. Get started today with our no credit check pre-approval and be driving tomorrow. Every car disinfected for your safety. Backed by up to two-year warranty, free towing, and full-service facility. When others can't or won't, since 1949, Ted's says yes. First National Pharmacy, your trusted family-owned and operated pharmacy for four generations. Come in today for all your prescription needs, medical supplies, and vitamins. We have a full line of immunization services for the flu, pneumonia, shingles, and more. Special orders such as pain medications can be placed at your convenience. While you stop by, don't forget to grab all of your lottery tickets, scratch-offs, and 99-cent greeting cards. Take advantage of our knowledgeable hometown pharmacy staff at First National Pharmacy in Lehighton. We want to be your pharmacy because we care. One of the common problems we get phone calls about is power outages. All garage door openers have a manual release located directly above the door. Disengage the garage door by reaching up for that red cord and pulling down on the trolley assembly. Once the garage door is in the manual operation, you'd want to secure it with one of the locks that should be provided on the door. When the power is restored, do the reverse, disengaging it to put it in your manual mode. We love garages. We'd love to do yours at Palmerton Garage Doors. Hi, I'm John Kovach. You've depended on the Kovach name for over 70 years. Now we're expanding to better service our customers' needs. More quality select pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs to choose from. And power sports sales and service. Expanding inventory of motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides. With great customer service, if we don't have what you want, we can find it. Kovach Incorporated of Nesquehoning. One location, so many ways to serve you. Get the look you've always wanted from Arner Furniture with Amish and custom-made pieces for nearly every room in your home. Build your very own heirloom quality set with our unique and handcrafted Amish bedroom sets and solid hardwood dining room sets that your family will enjoy for generations. Let our family take care of your family. Arner Furniture, serving Carbon County with quality pieces since 1968. Online at arnerfurniture.com. The Andrees family has been caring for the heating, cooling, and plumbing needs of the residents and businesses of our area for four generations. With a tradition of treating your family as a member of our family, that commitment is stronger than ever. With the best trained technicians and fast, friendly service, emergency care, and people who treat your home just like they treat their own. So whether you need plumbing, heating, air conditioning, water treatment, or more, call the family that has been caring for your family for four generations. Andrees Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. You are watching BRC 13. At Arner Furniture, we have everything you need to complete each room in your home with brands like Sealy, Ashley, Amish Made, and more. Decorate your home with pieces that showcase your personality and style. And our special financing and delivery options ensure your purchase experience is seamless. Let our family take care of your family. Arner Furniture, serving Carbon County with quality pieces since 1968. Online at arnerfurniture.com. Hi, I'm John Kovach. You've depended on the Kovach name for over 70 years. Now we're expanding to better service our customers' needs. Pre-owned automotive and power sports. Service, we're a TechNet professional automotive service facility. State-of-the-art collision center and iCar Gold Class certified shop. Municipal upfitters, turnkey municipal and first responder upfitting services. Kovach Incorporated of Nesquehoning. One location, so many ways to serve you. The Andrees family has been caring for the heating, cooling, and plumbing needs of the residents and businesses of our area for four generations. With a tradition of treating your family as a member of our family, that commitment is stronger than ever. With the best trained technicians and fast, friendly service, emergency care, and people who treat your home just like they treat their own. So whether you need plumbing, heating, air conditioning, water treatment, or more, call the family that has been caring for your family for four generations. Andrees Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. 
Palmerton Garage Doors can accommodate any of your residential or commercial garage door needs. Spurs things up or go with a whole new look. Custom framing. Change two garage doors into one. Or even put a door where you didn't have one before. We can handle it all from start to finish. No separate contractor needed, including custom painting. You can even have a purple door. Call to schedule your free estimate on new installations. We love garages. We'd love to do yours at Palmerton Garage Doors. For almost 80 years, Ted's Used Cars has been building long-term relationships with our customers. If you need a car, truck, or SUV and have little, no, or bad credit, Ted's can get you in that vehicle for as little as $80 a week. You're approved on stability and employment. Get started today with our no-credit check pre-approval and be driving tomorrow. Every car disinfected for your safety. Backed by up to two-year warranty, free towing, and full-service facility. When others can't or won't, since 1949, Ted's says yes. First National Pharmacy, your trusted family-owned and operated pharmacy for four generations. Come in today for all your prescription needs, medical supplies, and vitamins. We have a full line of immunization services for the flu, pneumonia, shingles, and more. Special orders such as pain medications can be placed at your convenience. While you stop by, don't forget to grab all of your lottery tickets, scratch-offs, and 99-cent greeting cards. Take advantage of our knowledgeable hometown pharmacy staff at First National Pharmacy in Lehigh. We want to be your pharmacy because we care. At Arner Furniture, we have everything you need to complete each room in your home with brands like Sealy, Ashley, Amish Made, and more. Decorate your home with pieces that showcase your personality and style. And our special financing and delivery options ensure your purchase experience is seamless. Let our family take care of your family. Arner Furniture, serving Carbon County with quality pieces since 1968. Online at arnerfurniture.com. Hi, I'm John Kovach. You've depended on the Kovach name for over 70 years. Now we're expanding to better service our customers' needs. Pre-owned automotive and power sports. Service, we're a TechNet professional automotive service facility. State-of-the-art collision center and iCar Gold Class certified shop. Municipal Upfitters, turnkey municipal and first responder upfitting services. Kovach Incorporated of Nesquahoning. One location, so many ways to serve you. The Andres family has been caring for the heating, cooling, and plumbing needs of the residents and businesses of our area for four generations. With a tradition of treating your family as a member of our family, that commitment is stronger than ever. With the best trained technicians and fast, friendly service, emergency care, and people who treat your home just like they treat their own. So whether you need plumbing, heating, air conditioning, water treatment, or more, call the family that has been caring for your family for four generations. Andres Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Palmerton Garage Doors can accommodate any of your residential or commercial garage door needs. Spurs things up or go with a whole new look. Custom framing. Change two garage doors into one. Or even put a door where you didn't have one before. We can handle it all from start to finish. No separate contractor needed, including custom painting. You can even have a purple door. Call to schedule your free estimate on new installations. We love garages. We'd love to do yours at Palmerton Garage Doors. For almost 80 years, Ted's Used Cars has been building long-term relationships with our customers. If you need a car, truck, or SUV and have little, no, or bad credit, Ted's can get you in that vehicle for as little as $80 a week. You're approved on stability and employment. Get started today with our no-credit check pre-approval and be driving tomorrow. Every car disinfected for your safety. Backed by up to two-year warranty, free towing, and full-service facility. When others can't or won't, since 1949, Ted's says yes. And uh, leading is uh, Dr. Kaz Curry, our superintendent, and Mr. Jeffrey Soto, our principal. Um, we also have some board members who are coming in. Uh, expected tonight is Megan Brennanen, Merlin Clark, Jocelyn Kramer, Pat DeCandia, and Judy McGann. So we're very excited and pleased to have our esteemed board members here to help celebrate this momentous evening. And there's the band starting up. Some very dedicated members of our band who are able to be here tonight. 
We also have some wonderful staff members who came to be a part of this as well. Uh, we have Lori Bermudez from the World Languages Department. We have Ashley Krauss from the English Department. We have Melissa Kaler from Special Ed. We have Sarah, who, uh, Sarah and Clint Davis. Uh, Sarah is a phys ed teacher here, and her husband actually is, just got a job working with career development. Uh, Monica Calamo is here, and she's one of our esteemed math teachers, and Heidi Rodriguez, who's also a special ed teacher. Um, as Eileen mentioned, leading the procession this evening uh, is Dr. Curry, who is our superintendent. He's completing his fifth year with the district. Um, prior to coming to Strasburg, he was a 9th through 12th grade health and PE teacher in Berwick for nine years. He then moved on to assistant principal at Berwick, Berwick High School for one year, then became principal for five years at Columbia Montour AVTS. He also spent three years as administrator director at Columbia Montour AVTS. BTS. Um, and he was also the superintendent of the Bloomsburg Area School District for seven years. And now we are so lucky to have him here at Stroudsburg. You also see Mr. Sodal on stage. Mr. Sodal is our principal here at the high school. He worked really hard to make all of this happen tonight, so we're so thankful for that. Um, he just completed his 28th year in the district. Uh, prior to becoming principal, he was an assistant principal and a biology teacher, and he has coached various sports here at Stroudsburg. Eileen, what do all the medals and sashes mean that the kids are wearing here tonight? Good question, Jamie. Students wearing medals around their necks, some of them have already been awarded departmental awards, and others are varsity S, meaning that they participated and excelled in a varsity sport here in the district. We also have students you'll see wearing blue stoles, and they are members of the National Honor Society, and students wearing the white sash are members of a National Technical Honor Society. Another two other people I'd like to mention. Don't they look great? Great. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> Let's make some noise. Let's go. As you can tell, we're very excited. Uh, two other people I'd like to acknowledge who made all of this happen as well are the senior class advisors who happen to be Sherry Griswold and Sue Flad. And we'll talk a little bit more about their efforts and getting the kids motivated to raise a lot of money so that all the things that they'd like to do can take place. A little history for you. Um, graduation used to be held in the auditorium here at the high school prior to 1960. Then in 1960, commencement moved to the gymnasium. In 1961, it was decided that graduates shouldn't be seated in the bleachers, so they moved them to the floor. Eventually, the graduating classes continued to grow, so commencement had to be moved out here to the stadium. In the event of inclement weather, we're moved indoors, but as you can see, we're out here tonight and loving it. And Jamie, I believe that we're making history tonight too with this ceremony. So just to give you some information about this special class whom I believe excels academically, athletically, and ethically. They have more character um, having gone through everything that they have. And I have a really interesting quote that I know many people have heard that life isn't about watching for the storm to pass, it's about learning to dance in the rain. And I get emotional because I think about how wonderful these kids are and some of the things that they've said and they've done and how grateful they are. So it's really nice. But there are 425 students in this class. We have an amazing valedictorian, Evan Smith, and a wonderful salutatorian, Gigi Schimpf. And you and I had both of those students, and they just are, they raise the bar for everybody in the class. Our class president is Avery Francis, who is tiny and mighty, and she just has the whole package. She's all three years she's been the president of the class, so they have had great leadership. And you will hear Avery's name a lot here tonight, so just, just keep that name in the back of your mind. Um, this class's class vice president is Gabby Liguori. The class treasurer is Sydney Graves. And Emily Mars was the class secretary. It's funny that you said Avery Francis's name because we have a holiday show every year uh, during, you know, obviously during the holidays before break. And one of the skits we had was calling Avery Francis to the office because she's constantly being called down because for great things, for wonderful things. Uh, in addition to that, we have a student rep to the board who's Landon Kelly and our student government president is Jessica Hall. Here's a fun fact for you all at home tonight. This class has nine sets of twins. Can you believe that? It's perfect. It's perfect for this year. We, they, they excel and they're unique and it's fun. They're all awesome sets of twins too. 
But just so you know, their song was Good Old Days by, ba by Macklemore and Kesha, and the colors that they've adopted are navy blue and gold. Uh, just to mention Avery Francis again, she was this year's homecoming queen, um, and this class could, uh, what a wonderful just representative of the school. Um, so Avery was the homecoming queen, and then the king of hearts this year was J Jadari Ketrels. Are we allowed to say that Avery Francis was the Mountie too? Oh, I, probably I, not. I don't okay. know. Nobody heard that. All right. So talking about academics, some of the colleges that these students will be in attending include Brown, Lehigh, Drexel, NYU, Temple, Pitt, Penn State, Iowa State, Marywood, Westchester, Bloomsburg, Kutztown, Muhlenberg, Moravian, Mansfield. And we also have many members of the class who will be representative in the all branches of the military. That's wonderful. And Eileen, this senior class is so full of spirit, as you said before. Um, and we really wanted to do everything we could to make this year special for them, despite the circumstances. So one of the things we had here at the, at the high school was the senior class car cruise. It was a huge success. Students and their families decorated their cars, drove through, teachers were lining the sidewalks, um, and at that time they were able to accept awards and scholarships. So that was a really fun night, possibly a new tradition here at Stroudsburg High School. Um, also, every Friday night during the period of quarantine, the stadium lights were lit um, at 820, which is 2020 in military time, to honor the senior class. So that was a really, a really nice thing that they organized. For, for the kids. And also, Jamie, remember we made lots of videos. Staff made videos and sent them out to the students to keep them encouraged and motivated, and then they sent some back to us, which was wonderful. Uh, as I mentioned, we delivered signs in April to the students' lawns as a surprise. They had no idea that they were coming, and they were paid for by student government. And also, Adam Deemer and Sierra Holbert won free prom tickets because of their involvement in class activities. And in a little bit, we'll talk about how the prom is actually coming up in a few weeks. The class also had its very own photographer and video maker and Hel Helena Hunter. Um, she helped capture some of the important moments happening with this class. She shared several videos during the quarantine, um, as Eileen mentioned, that they sent back from the students to the teachers, which was really fun. Um, the senior class also gives an unsung hero award, um, and three of our students, Gigi Schimpf, Hope Porter, and Victoria Robles, received that award this year for their tireless efforts on multiple fundraisers throughout their three years here at the high school. And all of those ladies are so involved in so many activities. And when they announce their name and we talk a little bit about them, you'll see that these students are involved, they're engaged, they're motivated, and uh, we are just so incredibly proud of them. This class was extremely successful at raising funds and getting involved in, in activities. And as I mentioned, Sherry Griswold and Sue Flad were the advisors. They had school spirit in spite of everything that they've had to endure. They persevered. Um, last su summer, they started planning about prom and they had several meetings to discuss ideas ideas and look into various venues. Uh, unfortunately, the prom was scheduled for May 6th. Obviously, that didn't happen. But they picked Penn's Peak and Jim Thorpe as their prom destination. And it is scheduled now for August 5th. So we're looking forward to being able to celebrate with them in a couple weeks. And Jamie, you and I are going to be there, aren't we? We will. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a fun night. Yes. Um, speaking of fundraising, as Eileen mentioned before, this class has held so many fundraisers. Um, they've had a wing night first ever food truck festival and carnival here at the high school, which was fantastic. Um, live action Clue, which is always fun, takes place in the hallways of the school. And they had a kiss a chicken contest. Eileen, did you see that video of uh, <laughs> our assistant principal, Mr. Burke, kissing a chicken? I did. There's many damaging pictures and videos of that. <laughs> that was fun, though. The kids loved it. In addition to those, we also they also had pop so socket sales, uh, breakfast with Dr. Seuss, Haunted Woods back in the fall during Halloween. They had a three-on-three -three basketball tournament. They sold clothes. They always hold a, a soup sale at open house. They sell concessions at homecoming and King of Hearts dances. And I remember they also had a Mother's Day, um, you know, flower in a teacup fundraiser, which I remember buying for my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> so great. And this class really 
gets into flow. If you're not familiar, every year at homecoming, uh, the high, high school classes make floats, um, and there's a whole you know contest who will win best float. This year's theme was kid ensemble films, and the senior class won with their high school musical float. It was a very close race this year. This year, and this was actually the second year in a row that they won. They won last year as juniors as well, which. They have some serious bragging rights. The, the new senior class will have a lot to live up to. And as you said, Jamie, the homecoming floats. Again, something our district does that sets us apart from everyone else. We have a moving up day. We have floats. We have graduation, which is second to none. So we're very proud to be a part of the district and, and sharing all of the things that we do with our students here. But speaking of winning, this year, our students continued to make our mark in the EPC conference. Uh, and those things included boys soccer team. They were the EPC Mountain Division champions. The girls basketball team was the the EPC Mountain Division champion. We also had a wrestling team, eighth place finish in the PIAA, and a school record was broken. Uh, one state champion, and we had a state runner-up in senior Patrick Noonan. That's great, and our cheerleading team uh, was the District 11 runner-up. They competed in the PIAA championships and the NCA national championships, which is a big deal. Also, our boys cross country team had two senior state qualifiers. Um, I'm one of the assistant cross country co coaches, so this was a really big deal for Braden Graham and Willie Marina, who are both graduating tonight. They will be missed. Uh, the girls' tennis team had a record of 16 and two with a District 11 champion and an EPC champion. Wow. Uh, we also had, we had District 11 playoff qualifiers for boys and girls soccer, girls tennis, field hockey, football, volleyball, wrestling, and girls basketball. A lot to talk about. Well, moving on to swimming. We had numerous team records set by Adam Deemer and Julia Delaney. And then moving on to football, we had an EPC North football defensive MVP this year, Wayne Hamilton. We also had EPC second singles championship in tennis, Vasilia Briegel, two years undefeated in EPC play. Wow, these kids excel on, in every arena. Wow, that's so great, Eileen. And here's Avery Francis again. She was the EPC girls soccer and girls basketball scholar athlete for soccer and basketball. Um, and then I believe she eventually went on to win um, for the entire year. Wow. Um, Willie Marina was also the EPC track scholar athlete, and Logan Sodal was the baseball EPC scholar athlete. Okay, we also had students uh, become awarded for their character council sportsmanship. sportsmanship. And uh, wait, Avery Francis, I'm not sure who she is, but she won the EPC Student Athlete Character Council Sportsmanship Award. And also we had uh, EPC Student Athlete Character Council senior representatives were Avery Francis and Logan Sodal, two standouts in our class. Wayne Hamilton was named uh, Male Athlete of the Year by the Varsity S Club and Avery Francis Female Athlete of the Year. Uh, Delron Card was also um, the Varsity S Club's uh, most coachable award he won this year. We had 22 student athletes sign letters of intent to compete in their respective sports at the college level. Wow, that's incredible. We also had many great groups like Future Business Leaders of America, Marching Band, uh, Students Against Destructive Decisions, Avidum. Great job, Ben. Okay, looks like we're getting started. Good evening. Understanding that Stroudsburg Area School District recognizes and appreciates everyone's individual freedoms, we ask that you prepare for and welcome our school band ensemble for the playing of our national anthem.
please remain standing. To our students and com community members who often feel the inequalities that exist within our system, we want you to know that we recognize and join you in a, des a desire to rectify those injustices. Please join me in a moment of silence as we contemplate our resolve to stand together and to make this world a better place. There's no better way for us to stand together at this high school event than with the playing of Stroudsburg High School's alma mater. Please be seated. Good evening, everyone. Members of the school board, Superintendent Dr. Cosmas Curry, Assistant Superintendent Mrs. Wanda Lazoin, district and MCTI administrators, assembled faculty and staff, parents, family members and friends, and honored ladies and gentlemen of the senior class. It is my pleasure to finally welcome you to Stroudsburg High School's Class of 2020 commencement ceremony. Before we begin, or before I begin, I'd like to thank Dr. Curry and our school board for having the courage and the belief that our students should be celebrated with a graduation ceremony in this manner. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> Graduates, as I look at you here tonight, I realize that I actually began preparing for this night 13 years ago when you entered kindergarten. I knew then that I have a number of emotions running through me tonight. It's no secret that it hasn't been a typical year for you or any of us here, but this class hasn't been a typical class for me. Watching you grow up, I've not only felt like the principal of the high school which you attended, but I also felt a special connection. In addition to an incredible sense of responsibility, because I wanted your entire high school experience to be the best that it possibly could be. I feel sadness knowing you won't be walking the halls next year, but I also have an incredible amount of pride because I was able to celebrate in so many of your successes these past few years at Stroudsburg High School. I also thought about the legacy you will leave at Stroudsburg. Think about it. Your legacy can never be matched. When has a global pandemic ever happened in our lifetime? You have an incredible story to tell about life before Corona and life after. Never in the history of Stroudsburg High School did school and life come to a screeching halt in mid-March. Never did anyone have to Zoom or Flipgrid or Google Meet in order to have class. And never before has a class triumphed over such great adversity to come together again and hold graduation on this night in the month of July. You are survivors. And not only did you survive, together you excelled academically musically, and extracurricularly. While you have faced overwhelming struggles, your, bonds will, never be, your bonds, will, bonds will never be stronger because you stood together to reestablish the accepting and inclusive culture that is synonymous with our high school. Because of your leadership, it is my hope that the classes that follow you will continue your positive spirit. Do we have work to do with social injustice and how we treat each other? Absolutely but I couldn't be prouder of what this class represents and what you as Stroudsburg High School st students stand for. What I ask from you is simple. I ask that you care, care about each other, care about what you do every day, care about the community that you live in. That's how this world 
which you're about to become leaders in, becomes a better place. Seniors, I'd like to share that this banner, which highlights every one of your beautiful faces, will be mounted and proudly displayed in Stroudsburg High School for many years to come. It's my, it is my goal that everyone who walks the halls of SHS knows that you are the class that will never be forgotten. You've succeeded because of the help and the love of others in your life. But most importantly, you've succeeded because you and you alone have chosen to do so. Parents, I know there are experiences, events, performances, and games that we wanted to share with our children this year. Those that we feel have been stolen from them and from us. Don't focus on that. Focus on the extra time you were able to share with your family that you wouldn't have had. Focus on the meals that you had at home, the games that you played, and the laughs that you shared. Focused on, focus on how happy our kids are tonight and how proud of them you are tonight. Class of 2020, you are resilient and courageous. You have chosen to look forward and onward to the incredible future that lies ahead, and you will do amazing things. Please cher cherish every moment, because one thing that we all should have learned this year is that there are no guarantees. Tonight, this night, is all about you. Parents, one final thank you for sharing your children with us each day. Educating them has truly been our honor. Stroudsburg High School Class of 2020, the world needs all 429 of you seated in front of us now more than ever. We need you to make our world a better place. It's my sincere hope that you remember where you came from and that you look back upon your years at Stroudsburg High School fondly and as having prepared you to conquer the challenges of life. On behalf of the faculty, faculty and staff of Stroudsburg High School, I wish you the happiness of a healthy and productive as well as successful life. Congratulations, enjoy your night. You certainly have earned it. Love you guys. At this time, I would like to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2020, Mr. Evan Smith. Thank you, Mr. Sodal, and thanks to the administration, school board, parents, faculty, staff, and all of you for being here to support us by celebrating our accomplishments. Parents, you've been there through thick and thin, at games, practices, school concerts, and after school activities. You were there for that last second project we told you about the night before when we needed school supplies. You were there to help us with the math homework that wasn't taught the way you remember, and for driving us to school when we missed the bus. Let's give a round of applause for the parents because we truly wouldn't be here without you. I'd also like to thank all the teachers and staff for guiding us these last 13 years. From you, we've learned so much more than academics. We've learned character. We learned how to be responsible, to respect others, and pursue our interests. You were all very open to helping us with the course material during these last few months of online learning, and we thank you for that. Let's give a round of applause for the teachers and staff for all they've done to help us. Now, fellow graduates, here we are today at an event some of us thought wouldn't happen, our graduation ceremony. Thanks to the administration for making this event possible. When considering topics for today, I reflected on a class discussion from Mr. Thornton's history class. In that lesson, we talked about how in order to do anything successfully in life, in order to be a good citizen, in order to have a positive effect on those around you, you don't have to have some great leadership ability or perform some important act. You just have to care. Now that may sound simple, but it's true. You need to care care about the people around you, and care about the work you do. 
When someone truly cares, simple gestures and acts can provide the encouragement others need. While these gestures may seem insignificant, they can have a lasting impact. One of my favorite examples of this was something Mr. Zimmerman did back in freshman biology. When he graded our papers, he didn't just give us a grade, he included little hand-drawn illustrations. These illustrations were drawings of juice, and the amount of juice you got depended on how much work you put in. If you put a little effort in, he would draw a drop of juice on your paper. A little more effort, you'd get a cup of juice, then a pitcher, then a lake, so on and so forth. It took him a great deal of time to draw the juice on our papers. Like, they were really good illustrations. But this motivated us to strive harder in the class. As you can see, simple acts like that can really influence someone. Along with caring for others, we must also learn to care about the work we do. For some of us, our careers will start right away. Some will join the military. Others will continue our education. Regardless of our varying directions, we must ask ourselves what we care deeply about. What impact do we hope to achieve? We must not do things solely for the sake of doing them, but because we are passionate about them. If we live our lives having money as our goal, or gaining the next promotion, instead of caring about what we are doing, we are leading an unfulfilling life. Some of us have a good sense of what we care about, what our purpose is. Most of us are still, still searching. As Mark Twain said, the two most important days in life are the day you are born and the day you discover why. So, as you leave here today and move on throughout your lives, continue to ask the question, why? In closing, I've enjoyed my time with you all, and I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Great job, Evan. And now delivering the class oration, I'd like to call forward the president of the class of 2020, Miss Avery Francis. Good evening, school board members, administration, faculty, friends, family, and fellow graduates. I am so excited to be standing up here celebrating our class with all of you. It truly felt this night would never come. So obviously this year was a bit different. For those of you familiar with Harry Potter, you all know he who must not be named. And for those who don't, he who must not be named refers to something so evil it doesn't deserve to be recognized. So I've decided when referring to the tragic event that cut short our senior year, I will refer to it as the thing that must not be named because this thing does not get to define our years at Stroudsburg. When we first began our journey in Stroudsburg Area School District, many of us did not know each other. Our individual journeys eventually brought us all here together tonight, but we weren't always together. In the beginning, we were split into different elementary schools. We came together in intermediate school just to be separated into color-coded hallways. In middle school, it was the pods that separated us. Junior high was the first time we came together, though we may have been too immature and awkward to realize it. In high school, we truly came together. We formed bonds and made memories that will last a lifetime. We shared unforgettable experiences that will be ingrained in our minds forever. We have certainly been through so much as a class over the years, but nothing like our senior year. When we first began school this year, we thought our biggest challenges would be following dress code, getting caught wearing headphones in the hallway, putting our phones in boxes, or even winning float back to back, which we did, but who's counting? But senior year, we faced our biggest challenge yet, when the thing that must not be named separated us yet again. We got knocked down, but we all helped each other get back up. We became stronger, Stroudsburg strong. We came through it together. There's a song in High School Musical that is so relatable we voted it as our class quote. We're all in this together. That is what helped me get through this thing that must not be named. The fact that we got through it together. And now, here we are together one last time. 
Senior year is usually referred to as a year of last. Our last homecoming dance, our last Friday night football game, our last marching band performance, our last time with our team, our last concert or musical, and our last time at the lunch table. None of us knew that March 13th would be our last day in high school, but we also didn't know how many firsts we would get to experience. We are the first class to have the stadium lit up just for us each week. We are the first class who was allowed to wear headphones during class because it made it easier to hear the Zoom calls. We are the first class to have personalized signs on our lawns. We are the first class of a virtual academic award ceremony and signing day. We are the first class of a car cruise where we were encouraged to sit on top of our cars, beep our horns while riding around the school parking lot, which would have been highly discouraged in regular times. We are the first class to take senior skip day to a whole new level. We skip school the entire fourth marking period. <laughs> And we are the first class to have a guaranteed outdoor graduation to honor this truly remarkable and resilient class. We may not have been able to celebrate all of our lasts, but we got to celebrate so many firsts. And we got to celebrate them together, of course, while practicing social distancing. We truly are all in this together. None of this would have been possible without our amazing administrators, teachers, coaches, and staff. Thank you for completely adapting to help us learn at home, for making videos with your families and pets, for reaching out, whether sending a simple email or virtual hugs, and spending an entire day delivering over 400 lawn signs. We appreciate it, and we will really miss you guys. Thank you to our class advisors. Thank you, Ms. Flad, for always being there and having the best food. Thank you to Ms. Griswold for devoting all your time and energy to this class. You were the reason we were able to have so many memorable events. And I would like to personally thank you for helping me become the leader I am today. Thank you to all the parents who drove us everywhere attended our concerts, games, performances, ceremonies, while supporting us all along the way. To my own family, thank you for being my biggest fans and helping me achieve my goals. You guys are simply the best. <laughs> Mr. Sotel, I would like to thank you for trusting me to choose appropriate songs to play in the halls on Friday. And most importantly, thank you for helping me fulfill one of my dreams. For those of you who didn't know or were highly suspicious, Mr. Sotel allowed me to dance like a maniac every Friday night in the Mountie mascot costume. I am so grateful for that opportunity and all the opportunities you have provided us here at Stroudsburg High School. And on behalf of the class, thank you for never giving up on us. You believed in us, which is the reason we were able to have a traditional graduation when months ago none of us thought this was possible. You truly went above and beyond to celebrate the class of 2020, and we sincerely appreciate it. <laughs> Fellow graduates, thank you for everything. Serving as our class president has been one of the highlights of these last three years. Perhaps you know that from the one or two Google Classroom announcements. But seriously, look at us. Look around you. We have so much to be proud of. Our accomplishments are endless and we have only just begun. I could not imagine sharing this experience with anyone else. We managed to come together and rise above every challenge we face. To quote our class song, someday soon your whole life's gonna change. You'll miss the magic of these good old days. As we move on from high school, I encourage you to remember our good old days. Though we will now be separated again, our shared experiences will keep us united because once a Mountie, always a Mountie. Strasbourg class of 2020, we did it. And we did it together. Thank you. Thank you, Avery. Great job. Mr. Cassidy, can you work your way over? Before Dr. Curry certifies the class of 2020 as graduates of Strasbourg High School, there are a few awards that will be presented. 
The first awards are our departmental awards, which are traditionally given at Moving Up Day, but we are honored to present them tonight. I now ask a few of our department heads who can make it tonight and a few faculty members in that department uh, to, to come to the podium and present the awards. You can come up. Mr. Cassidy, you're first. The Music Award will be presented by Mr. Skip Cassidy. The Music Department Award goes to Elizabeth Matheson. The Health and Physical Education Award, there are two, one for male, one for me, female, presented by Mrs. Sarah Davis. The Female Health and PE Award goes to Ms. Avery Francis. No hugging. <laughs> and the Male Health and Phys Ed Award goes to Jeffrey Paziak. Jeffrey is a member of our wrestling team. The World Language Award team. is presented by Mrs. Lori Bermudez. The World Language Award goes to Christopher Marina. CJ is an amazing individual. He deserves many awards. The Math Award is presented by Mrs. Monica Calamo. The Math Award this year goes to Mr. Evan Smith. Evan, you could stay right there. The Social Studies Award is presented by Mr. Sean Thornton. The Social Studies Award goes to Evan Smith. Another award for our valedictorian, Evan Smith. Very exciting. Evan, stay there. The English Award is presented by Ms. Sherry Griswold. The English Award goes to Evan Smith. Evan has the whole package. Right brain, left brain, personality, The character. Art Department Award is presented by Mrs. Leah McCain. The Art Department Award goes to Adam Deemer. Adam is also an outstanding swimmer. Dr. Curry will help me with the remainder. The Business Computer and Information Technology Department Award goes to Ben Reyes. Ben's very active in FBLA. The Family and Consumer Science Award goes to Tesha Jamat. T shy. Very exciting for T shy. She's a great girl. The Science Department Award goes to Alice Chen. As you can see, that blue sash that Alice is wearing is for National Honor Society. It's very quiet. <laughs> Good job, Alice. The Technology Education Award goes to Leo Satamini. Good for Leo. The Monroe Career and Technical Award goes to Levi DeFreitas. The Student Government Award. Sorry, Levi. Student Government Award goes to Jessica Hall.
And the student representative of the school board award goes to Landon Kelly. Congratulations, everyone. The, we will now present the final five awards which are traditionally given on graduation night. These awards are considered the most prestigious awards given at Stroudsburg High School. The first is the Principal's Award. It's given annually to a senior who exemplifies academic achievement, excellent attendance, and outstanding service to Stroudsburg High School. This year's winner has honestly been working on winning this award since I met her at age five. She lives, breathes, bleeds, and sleeps Stroudsburg High School. She embodies all the qualities and spirit you search for in a Stroudsburg High School student. Honestly, if I had asked her today if she wants to return next year, she would say yes. It is my pleasure to introduce the class president for the last four years, Avery Francis. She is the embodiment of this award. We'll really miss Avery next year. We've social distance with their parents. That was an approved hug. A oh, Avery, come back here. The next award was voted on by the high school faculty. The Kiwanis Citation is given to a student that shows mental strength, cooperative citizenship, physical and mental health, social poise, and spiritual vision. This year's Kiwanis Citation Award winner is Avery Francis. She's going to need a very big shelf for all these awards. Mm -hmm. The Robert Brown Award is given to a student who, who displays characteristics of good citizenship to our democracy, has shown growth in character, service, and leadership, and has displayed social and personal growth, as well as growth in scholarship. This year's Robert Brown Award goes to Ms. Victoria Robles. Victoria is an amazing young woman. This is always a really exciting award to, to get. As Mr. Sotel said, this is voted on um, by all of the teachers. Good job, Victoria. Congratulations. Just uh, to make sure that it's noted, that award, the Robert Brown, and the final two are voted on by the high school faculty. So congratulations, Victoria. The Pride of the School Award is based on academic excellence, leadership, involvement in the high school, participation in extracurricular activities, community service, and on being the person believed to have the most pride in attending Stroudsburg High School. The award winner is the person that most appropriately displays all the quality of what it means to be a Stroudsburg Mountaineer. I'm proud to present the faculty's choice of the Stroudsburg High School Pride of the School Award to Mr. Logan Sodal. And Logan is Mr. Sodal's son, really, really wonderful kid. He's so involved in everything from baseball to being part of the musical every year. Really exciting for Logan. The final award is the highest award given at Stroudsburg High School. The Egbert Medal of Excellence is given for academic excellence in addition to sense of honor, responsibility, school spirit, courtesy, and an overall influence for good. The faculty's choice for the Egbert Medal of Excellence is Ms. Vasilia Briegel. I think what's important to note about all these awards is that these students have earned it. Congratulations and to all of our award winners. We had a hard time picking who we were going to have because there were so many great At this choices. Time, I would like to ask our superintendent, Dr. Cosmas Curry, to come forward for the certification of the graduates of the class of 2020. Good evening. We are delighted that we're able to have this event and welcome all families. Uh, 
I just want to comment on Mr. Sotol's words earlier. Evan, uh, you were in Avery's words, certainly the great messages and things to reflect on. As superintendent and a commissioned officer in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby certify the class of 2020 as eligible to graduate as having met all requirements set forth by the Pennsylvania Department of Education and the Stroudsburg School Board of Directors. Congratulations, class of 2020. Together, let us turn our tassels. So they turn the tassel from the right side to the left, so it's over their heart. Congratulations, guys. And now I would like to ask Mr. Sean Thornton to the podium to begin reading the names of the graduates of the class of 2020. Just to mention a couple other people, Wanda Lazoin is here, assistant superintendent, and Alex Ranke, also a board member. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the graduating seniors of the Stroudsburg High School class of 2020. <laughs> While the graduates in attendance make their way to the stage, we have several who were not able to be here with us this evening, but we still want to recognize them. Along with the people here also graduating, Leonardo Joseph Erencibia, Michael Anthony Benintito, Hafsa Sarah Benzuzun, Olivia Bohr, Michael Patrick Burns, Daniel Angel Castillo, Harpreet S. Chohen, Daniel Glenn Chili, Brianna Kaufman, George Kaufman, Cheyenne Corey, Nicole Cruz, Megan Deal, David Adam DeYoung, Gregory Walter DeYoung, Luis Miguel Diaz Henriquez, Sean Michael Dullin, Shane Enriquez, Oscar Dominic Formella, Jermaine Francis, Kyle Gilman, Allison Elizabeth Grimes, Sarah Giovanna Hauser, Tracy Rain Healy, Jacob Hoffman, Jose Alexander Hortado, Austin Jordan, Jesse James Karianis, David Anthony Kozuski, Kayla Jacquet Quadio, Teresa Faith Levener, Philipka Lauren McKay Mizzarella, Joshua E. Morgan, Daniel T. Noggle, Christian Perez, Joshua Kenneth Pierre, Tyler Lee Presco, Caleb Joseph Quinones, Rochelle Angelina Rodriguez, Jonathan Tyler Rosenblatt, Christopher Santos, London Sawada, Zachary Smith, Hader Sohail, Alexia Nicola St. Hubert, Edlira Sulaj, Jaden Rene Towles, David Philemon Walker, Lucas Adam Williams, Diamond J. Zorro, Zayden Robert Charles Zawali, Julia Diogenes, and Nicholas DeLuca. Avery James Francis. Avery will be attending Susquehanna University, studying business management, and as we've heard tonight, she Gabriella does everything. Gabriella Grace Schimpf. Gigi's gonna be attending Villanova. She was involved in Emily student government. Emily Shiawan Mars. Emily is going to Lehigh University. Gabriella Nicole Ligori. Penn State University for Communication Sciences and Disorders. Jessica Ann Hall. Attending Lehigh University studying economics. Sydney Elizabeth Graves. She will be attending University of Pittsburgh for Biological Sciences and Political Science. Jaylene Marie Hernandez. Penn State University for Biobehavioral Health. Olivia J. Hayward. Penn State University for Agricultural and Animal Sciences. Gabrielle Lynn Quinn. Attending Kutztown for Biology. Ashley Gianna Echevarria. She's going to be attending the Beauty Institute. Evan Douglas Smith. Attending Penn State for Mechanical Engineering. Landon Hamilton Kelly. Also attending Penn State and was the student rep to the school board. Logan Patrick Sodal. Attending Gettysburg College, double majoring in health science and theater. Carter Anthony Henritzi. Attending Wilkes University for pharmacy. Michael John Sanchez. Michael is happy to be graduating tonight. 
Amir Ashante Bryan. Amir is really excited to be here tonight. Brandon Dimitri Ali Burrell. Attending Albright College for Finance and Marketing. Angel J. Sanchez. Attending Northampton Community College to major in Psychology. Craig B. Cooper. Attending East Stroudsburg University for Sports Marketing. Braden Kincaid Graham. Attending Bloomsburg University for Digital Forensics. Deja Monet Spears. Temple University for Pharmaceutical Sciences. Nia Ariana Gutierrez. Westchester University studying international business. Jennifer Mary Kramer. Fairfield University, accounting. Regan Grace Engelhart. She's excited to be graduating. Lauren Elizabeth Principe. Moravian College to study health sciences. Caroline C. DeFreitas. Wilkes University, become a nurse. Johanna Devin Gelbs. Bloomsburg University, theater arts with an emphasis in performing. Hannah Kashana Persaud. Penn State, studying criminology. Tony Marie Mancini. Savannah College of Art and Design, interactive design. Alia Marie Rojas. Ringling College of Art and Design. She's going to be studying film. Eric Anthony Demeza. Eric is attending NYU to study biomedical engineering. Eric was also involved in National Honor Society and Avidum. Noah Patrick Cook. Attending Drexel University to study political science. Austin Nicholas Kano. Austin is attending Wilkes University for biochemistry. David Christian Rivera. David is an MCTI graduate in culinary arts and will be going to Northampton. Carlos Omar Hidalgo. Attending East Stroudsburg University. Connor Matthew Pickett. Allegheny College for biochemistry. Rory Anthony Dalton. Rory will be going into the Navy. Congrats, Rory. William Robert Marina. Attending Lafayette College for Chemical Engineering. Connor Joseph Savage. Penn State University for Mechanical Engineering. Matthew Vincent Ingenito. East Stroudsburg University, dual majoring in Early Childhood Education and Special Ed. Amber Lynn Kishbaugh. Lehigh Carbon Community College, studying visual arts. Megan Elizabeth Hughes. ESU, criminal justice. Sarah Grace Possinger. ESU, health and physical education. Brianna Marie Olivaria. Northampton Community College, general studies. Lauren Elizabeth Polize. University of Scranton, mechanical engineering. Sarah Elizabeth Denny. Sacred Heart University. Gabrielle Eva Abriano. ESU for athletic training. Vasilia Sandra Briegel. Penn State University studying finance. Madison Blair Imber. Penn State University. Taryn Eve Silvernail. Johns Hopkins University for chemical and biomolecular engineering. Yahim Davis. Yahim says he's happy to be graduating tonight. Ross Zachary Kozlov. Northampton Community College for Interior Design. Jonathan Christopher Holder. Jonathan is attending the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics. Zane Dylan Poyer. Northampton Community College for Cybersecurity. Aaron Angel Cassiano. Aaron will be working at FedEx. Ryan Alexander Pinchback. Attending Brown University for Pure Mathematics. Christopher James Marina. Attending Lehigh University to study finance. Aiden Michael Hatton. Member of the cross country and track and field teams. Gregory John Beck. Attending Drexel University for video game design and production. Jake Scott Oravec. Attending Northampton Community College to study history. Deja M. Telesco. Northampton Community College to become a licensed nurse. Tiffany Feliciano. John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Angie N. Aragon Ariega. Northampton Community College, radi radiography. Road Theodore. 
East Stroudsburg University for Foreign Language and Digital Media. Fernanda Chavellas Navarro. Northampton Community College studying marketing. Brittany Elizabeth Olivia Raisin. Lebanon Valley College for physical therapy. Isabel Knight Almeida. Loyola University in Chicago for pre-med and public Sage health. Sage Jean Embley. Northampton and then ESU early childhood. Helena Lee Hunter. Penn State Hazleton for film and communications. Amina Tanaya Adams. Clark Atlanta University study psychology. Mahedi Yasir Nirnoy. Attending Penn Tech for electronic engineering. Elijah Jordan Cordero. Northampton Community College for nursing. Chase Richard Blecker. Northampton Community College for CIT networking. Logan Zane Blecker. Bloomsburg University Business Management. Andrew Matthias Ricks. University of Utah Biology. Manuel Esteban Fors. Attending Middlebury College to study Luso Hispanic Studies. Aaron Joey Wong. Attending Lehigh University for Computer Science. Jaquan Abdul Richardson. Jaquan is happy to be graduating tonight. Divine Emmanuel Sellers. Divine says he is happy to be graduating here tonight. Kevin Angelo Robles. Attending ESU to be a physician's assistant. Salome Francisca Albarison. <laughs> Kiara Christine Garcia. <laughs> Kaori Brianna Thomas. <laughs> Jamie Lynn Duraldo. <laughs> Mahogany Chantel Worsley Wooten. Montclair State University for Exercise Science. Kayla Imani Worsley Wooten. Also Montclair State University. Alexia Castillo. ESU for Early Childhood Education. Emma Lee Horn. ESU for Exercise Science. Asia Tony Harrison. ESU for Biology and Pre Med. Nayana Mercedes Barrow. Montclair State University Child Psychology. Joseph John Mangiovi. Thaddeus Stevens, College of, College of Technology, Mechanical Engineering. Thomas Connor Jones Turner. University of Scranton, Management. Moses Travell Johnson. DeSales University to study TV and film. DeAndre Jarobi Tillman. Attending Penn State University for Atmospheric Science. Eric J. Moreno. Kutztown University, Art Education. Brady Edward Buzzard. Brady says he's happy to be graduating tonight. Ramon Sarker. Attending Northampton Community College while working full time. Derek Sean Davis Jr. Derek says he's happy to be graduating tonight. Michael Wiggins. Bloomsburg University, Electrical Engineering. Benjamin Alcides Reyes. College of St. Rose, Accounting. Dolores Mercedes Alexander Robinson. Northampton Community College to become a dental hygienist. Trisha S. Jackson. Broward County Community College for nursing. Caitlin Amber Transu. She was involved in marching band and concert band. Hannah Lee Strunk. ESU. Haley Virginia Sampson. Northampton Community College to study English. Azarel Itzeana Cordova Palomino. Liberty University for Business Administration and Marketing. Victoria Byra. Temple University study biology. Jeon Gabrielle Marie de Freitas. Temple University also to study biology. Levi Marianne de Freitas. Temple University. Gabriella Alexis Jasmine. Temple University study criminal justice. Oh. Anthony Michael King. Anthony is enlisting in the Marines and leaves on July 27th. Logan Osborne Hill. Will be employed full time as an electrician. Christian John Beebe. Moravian College, Music Composition. Luke Holland Beebe. Attending a two year church mission trip. Kevin Mark Kramer. Penn State University. 
Mackenzie James O'Brien. Penn State Abington, Psychology and Finance. Zachary Thad Dudak. Attending Wilkes University for Mechanical Engineering. James Everett Jackson, Jr. Attending Penn State University for Computer Science. Keenan Anthony Macklin. Keenan says he's happy to be graduating tonight. Delron Kirk Card. East Stroudsburg University, Psychology. Jayana Brielle Ursu. Johnson and Wales University and also the Army. She goes Nicole on May 24th. Nicole Diane Rutledge. Cassandra Benning Studios Photography. Brianna Lee Borger. Makeup Design in New York. Janice Raymond Valcourt. Northampton Community College. Hope Elena Porter. Thomas Jefferson University, Textile Design. Archana S. Dossery. University of Pittsburgh for Biochemistry. Zoe Elizabeth Spritzer. Westchester University, going to be a French teacher. Kayla July Bago. University of Pittsburgh for Neuroscience. Selena Kayla London. Franklin and Marshall, pre-med. Adam Rachaboon Deemer. Penn State University, Landscape Architecture. Juan Carlos Hernandez. University of Pittsburgh, Mechanical Engineering. Nicholas John Solak IV. Attending Slippery Rock University for Social Work. Jeffrey Michael Pasiak. Temple University to study Business Management. Michael Irving Tarana. University of Central Florida to study Business Management. Cadell Ramsumer. Wilkes University, Accounting. Omari Nicholas Braham. Also attending Wilkes University for Pre-Pharmacy. Brian Edward Morales. Also attending Wilkes University, Business and Marketing. Kevin Ryan Montalvo. <laughs> Nael Elijah Jadari Ketrels. Attending Delaware Valley University for Criminal Justice. Erica Ann Brennan. Northampton Community College and the National Guard. Sydney Nicole Bumford. Amherst. Abigail Elizabeth Cannon. ESU for Early Childhood Education. Ashley Faith Armitage. Northampton Community College Occupational Therapy. Jessica Ann Craig. Northampton Community College. Hala El Sayed. DeSales University for Medical Studies. Nandi Amara Correa. Juniata College for Biophysics. Lindahl Natalia Trimmingham. Rochester Institute of Technology for Mechanical Engineering. Emma Rose Valenote. St. Joseph's University for Business. Molly Ann Miller. Allegheny College, Global Health Sciences. Alexander Peter Biss. ESU, Political Science. Common M. Zalev. Common is happy to be graduating. Suvari Nasir Rowe. Attending ESU to study biology. Jonah Lukashewski. Also attending ESU to study marketing. D'Angelo Kobe Batista. Penn Tech for electrical. Andrew Manda. Westchester University for biology. Zane Atwood Grover. Wilkes University, business. Ricardo S. Chavez. Ricardo's happy to be graduating tonight. Walter Thomas Deans. Walter is also excited to be here tonight. Isaiah Joshua Williams. Attending ESU to study accounting. Lana Loretici Sira O'Dowd. She wants to study sus sustainable plant energy. Destiny Marie Whitnam. Northampton Community College for Psychology. Paige Elizabeth Kostler. Northampton Community College for Medical Assisting. Kaylee Marie Diaria. Northampton Community College for Nursing. Kaylee Villanueva Santos. Slippery Rock for Elementary and Special Ed. 
Morgan Elizabeth Denishuski. Slippery Rock University Early Childhood Education. Nyla Alexis Estefani. Northampton Community College Para Education. Stephanie Irma Hendricks Vasquez. Stephanie's happy to be graduating. Lucy Marie Reich. Also excited Lucy to, to be graduating. Gianna Brielle Gaeta. Indiana University of Pennsylvania for Business and Interior Design. Logan Santo Ninavaji. East Strasburg University Business Management. Michael Paul Kapersky will be working full-time for innovative office products. Peter Alexander Biss attending Northampton Community College for engineering. Zane King Beers attending ESU to study finance. Samuel Raymond Watanabe attending Penn State Lehigh Valley for corporate communications. Dylan J. Budai Bloomsburg University finance and accounting. Leo Orem Sadamini. Gettysburg College, independent major industrial design. Eric Rodriguez. Attending ESU to study sports management. Justin Nasir James Carter. Attending North Carolina A&T for computer science. Wayne Francis Martin Hamilton. Attending Delaware Valley University to study business. Valerie Camacho. Kutztown University for secondary education. Sydney Ellen Runkel. Also Kutztown University for psychology. Aubrey Catherine Voth. St. Olaf College to study history. Miriam A. Sarak. Carnegie Mellon University, biological sciences. Ashley Louise Montesi. Drexel for nursing. Natalia Ruminska. ESU for marketing. Kylie Ann Myers. Kylie's happy to be graduating. Mallory Ann Motes. In IUP for nursing and psychology. Sarah Elizabeth Metzger. Bloomsburg University Early Childhood Education. Prudence Sophia Slinkowski. Lehigh Carbon County for veterinary tech. Patrick Edward Noonan. Continuing his education at University of Virginia. Michael Anthony Antal. Bloomsburg University Business Management. Shane Timothy Maloney. Attending Northampton Community College. Russell John Bonadonna. Russell says he's happy to be graduating tonight. Alec James Rump. Alec will be enlisting in the Air Force. Thanks, Alec. Brandon Eddie Nunez. Pittsburgh Technical College, the drafting program. Julian William Sparks. Attending Bloomsburg University. Vasil W. Damra. Attending Drexel University for biomedical engineering. Ali Yassine Salama. Full Sail University to study music. Hayden Mungru. Thomas Jefferson University, chemistry. Lovely Tria LeBlanc. Northampton Community College to become a paramedic. Alice Chen. Lehigh University Biochemistry. Abigail Ann Pushkar. Johnson and Wales University for Hospitality Management. Allison Lim. St. Joseph's University for Marketing. Ratika Mamidella. Penn State for Finance and Business. Allison Marie Pushkar. IUP for Interior Design. Sarah Elizabeth Goss. She's taken a gap year. Havana Shade Valdez. ESU for biology. Haley Margaret Longo. William Patterson University for music education. Nicole Diane Barbaron. Northampton Community College for criminal justice. Juwan James Armour Little. Old Dominion University, majoring in marine biology, minoring in secondary education. Salvatore Julio Gallo. East Strasburg University to study accounting. Mohammed S. Domboya. Mohammed says he's happy to be graduating tonight. 
Baron Ta'an Adams. Baron is enlisting in the Army. Thank you, Baron. Robert William DeForte. Robert says he's happy to be graduating tonight. Mark A. Troiano. Mark says he's looking forward to the future. Dylan William Johnson. East Stroudsburg University, Political Science. Dwight J. Cauley. East Stroudsburg University to study psychology. Aaron Rahalio Illich. Aaron says he's happy to be graduating tonight. Karen Pan. Marywood University study architecture. Sadia Catalina Justin. Juniata College for Environmental Science. Tamaya Alea Bowens. She's going to become a medical assistant in the nursing school. Lisa Margaret Muccio. She's very excited to be graduating. Taja Alana Jemet. Johnson and Wales University Culinary Arts and Food Service Management. Tishai Alyssa Jamat. She's very excited to be graduating. Janelle Patricia Day. Mansfield University to study criminal justice. Jessica Alexander. St. John's University to study legals. Legal study. Emily Michelle Guzman. She is going to be entering the Air Force. Thank you, Emily. Sanaya Malika Harper. She's going to become a flight attendant. Lucas James Farda. Attending Penn Tech to study aviation maintenance and technology. Ahmed Ansari. Montclair State University Information Technology. Miguel Angel Villegas Mayron. Attending Universidad CES in Colombia. Mohammed Ansari. Montclair State University Business Analytics. Oral Robert Williams. Attending ESU to study art. Alan Odor Opio. Temple University, majoring in science and technology. Alexander Joshua Crockett. Alexander is pursuing his business degree. Ethan Javier Acosta. UTI Auto Mechanics School to be an automotive tech. Patrick Thomas Ipich. Patrick says he's happy to be graduating tonight. Joseph Allen Ipich. Joseph is planning on pursuing a career in mechanics. Kayla Imani Rose. University of Pittsburgh, she's pre-med. Summer May Arnold. Bloomsburg University for personal finance. Ashley Cora Corbacero. ESU for early childhood education. Chloe Francis Buffone. Westchester University for ecology and conservation. Brianna Elizabeth Graff. Cape Fear Community College to study business. Emily Faith Kreitlow. She'll be working at Home Goods. Samantha Columna. Penn State Biology. Anya Alexis Wright. Temple University study biochemistry. Izuka Niyama Obolu. University of Southern California Biochemistry and Political Science. Alma from Poma Edu. Penn State Pre Med. Luke George Wagner. Millersville University Marine Biology. Asif Samir Ali. East Strasburg University Business Management. Dillinger Aries Matthews. Pittsburgh Technical College for Multimedia Technologies. Devante Amir Dolling. Devante will be attending college. Freddy Pierre Louis. ESU for business management. Sebastian Daniel Ortiz. Sebastian will be attending community college for sound engineering. Jonathan Manuel Vega. Northampton Community College hopes to pursue a career in architecture. Maxwell Jersey Kikta. Northampton Community College, computer science. Joseph Nicholas Bautista. East Strasburg University, computer programming. Alan Edward Snyder. Alan says he's happy to be graduating tonight. Sierra Marie Dinkle Pimentel. She's also happy to be graduating this evening. Megan Joan Zaruth. Northampton Community College for Music Education. Bridget Marion Clark. Also Northampton Community College to become a nurse. Amber May Flightman. ESU for Chemistry. 
Emily Doherty. She's excited to be graduating this evening. Umu Jello. You are at college to study biology. Michaela Brianna Woodley. Lincoln University, nursing. Erica Marie Rapp. Northampton to study criminology and nursing. Destiny Mayat Shante Tarver. She's taking a year off to be an intern at a psychology office. Rachel Leticia Mora. University of Pittsburgh Bradford to study psychology. King Rugobandana. Full Sail University, recording arts and engineering. Victor Joel Ryan. University at Albany, State University of New York, electrical and automotive engineering. Alexander James Kloss. Penn Tech for automotive technology. Timol Alfred Jagdish. Timol will be working full time after graduation. Damian Anthony Sanpaolo. East Strasburg University to study biochemistry. Joseph Jude DeLeon. Also attending ESU to study criminal justice. Luke Christopher Baxter. Attending East Strasburg University for computer science. Raven Moran. Raven will be entering the workforce after graduation. Kaylin Jalissa St. Cyr. Northampton Community College to study health professions. Katina Lopez Falls. Widener University, computer science. Shannon Marie Sant. University of Connecticut to study finance. Angelique Simone McLaughlin. Northampton Community College to study performing arts. Elizabeth Emma Matheson. Bowling Green State University, she received the Hansen Fellowship, study cello Moet and composition. S. Cabrera. Lincoln University, criminal justice. Faith Kayla Baltimore. Penn State University, pre-med. Carlin Elizabeth Eleanor Drayton. First Northampton and then Howard University, study physiology. Deja Deborah Chase. Northampton Community College, study business management. Kiara Destiny Joseph. Lincoln University, study biology. Ryan Nisham Joman Bax. Ryan will be going right into the workforce as an automotive technician. Matthew Roger Rakus. Attending York College of Pennsylvania for mechanical engineering. Leon Felix Lavanyan Radloff. Attending Rutgers University. Javon Justin Thomas. Northampton Community College for computer science. Jonathan Noah Acosta. East Strasburg University, criminal justice. Nicholas Gomez. Nick will be attending NYU. Corey Alexander De Los Santos. ESU to study English. John Anthony Brady. Northampton Community College, Business Marketing. Brittany Ann Greer. Northampton Community College, studying Automotive Technology. Hannah Deleen Siegel. Also Northampton Community College, General Studies. Isabella Liani Diaz. Northampton Community College, study child psychology. Juliana Teresa Jarvis. Northampton Community College, nursing. Isabel Ryan Strauch. Southern New Hampshire University, game programming and development. Milan Michaela Walford. She's very excited to be graduating. Madison Suzanne Traub. Hofstra University for film studies and production. Julia Joe Delaney. Lynn University, studying aviation. Jaden Marie Paradise. Northampton Community College to study project management. We're good. Yamel Davis. Yamel is happy to be graduating tonight. Wakar Hussein Mir. Penn State University, computer science. Angel Miguel Torres. Dante Bryant Perry. Full Sail University, gaming design. Alvin Alberto Bruno Jr. Alvin will be beginning an apprenticeship to be an electrician. 
and Kosi Solasi Lewis. ESU Digital Media Technology. Kamari David McIntosh. SUNY Morrisville for Computer Science. Frank R. Shepard. ESU to study business management. Derek Jaden Navarro. Derek is enlisting in the Air Force. Thank you, Derek. Gerald Jordan Richburg. NCC or LTRI-C. Keely, Isabella Staples. She's happy to be graduating this evening. Natalia Adriana Plaza. Northampton Community College studying nursing. Callie Katrina Gentry. Valencia College and then transferring to the University of Central Florida. Javon Ashley Brown. She's happy to be graduating. Haley Rose McLaughlin. Also excited to be graduating. Emer Salmon. Continuing education at Strasburg High School in life skills and work experience. Jaliz Warnell Seriano Jimenez. She's happy to be graduating. Angelina Tao Trung. Temple University, major undeclared. Isabella Rose Lopez. Northampton Community College, studying nursing. Mackenzie Louise Roman. ESU, major undecided. David Isaiah Walters. East Strasburg University, criminal justice. Jordan Murari Horvat. Jordan will be working full time as a union plumber. Logan Tyler Drust. Logan is enlisting in the Army. Thank you, Logan. Omar Hassan Nana. East Stroudsburg University, Computer Science. Drew Guardio Fiedler. Attending Wilkes University to study Computer Science. Derek Anthony Poniatowski. Derek will be attending Northampton Community College. Justin David Chambers. Universal Technical Institute to be an automotive technician. C period Jonah Watson. Wilkes University Business. Yusuf Mohammed Khan. Montclair State University. Kenyon Robertson. The College of St. Rose to study business. Nina Goldschmidt. Barnard College Neuroscience. Brianna Maidash. Temple University. She'll be studying political science. Ivana Karatashova. ESU for political science and concentration Caitlin international. Caitlin Lorraine Matos. Wilkes University studying psychology. Crystal Diane Davis. ESU pre-med. Ruby Jolie Miriam Kaliat. Bowdoin College with a minor in music. Victoria Marie Robles. Moravian, she's in music education. Madison Elaine Kitchell. ESU for special education. Caroline Elizabeth Buff. Westchester University, undecided. Zoe Irene Valamis. Penn State University studying business. Albin Data. Albin's attending Northampton Community College. Benjamin Rayleigh Bent. Lehigh University, mechanical engineering. Tristan Brandon Silverstein. Northampton Community College, drafting, design, and architecture. Derek Hoofdrod. Penn College of Technology, game and simulation program. Tyler David Stone. Temple University to study film. Malia Stavala. Georgetown Tech, studying nursing. Lara Alice Stavala. Georgetown Tech, anesthesia and pharmacology nurse. Hannah Zoe Robles. Westchester University for cell and molecular biology. Mayetta El Sayed. IUP for pre-physician assistant program. Kayla Elizabeth Van Horn. ESU. Raven Jones. Montclair State University for visual arts. Brianna Jasira Hernandez. Marywood University, biology and pre-med. Sierra Grace Holbert. Marywood University studying education. Mackenzie Lynn Williams. University of New Haven studying marine biology.
We're going to have some great leaders in this class, aren't we, Jamie? We sure are. It's just started to rain here. Luckily, we're wrapping up pretty soon. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Stroudsburg High School Class of 2020. is beautiful and their class song is playing in the background what a festive evening I'm gonna miss this group please keep your masks on No one does a graduation like Stroudsburg High School. Nope. Students have been instructed to keep their masks on. This was epic. What a wonderful culminating event for a really memorable year. stands out for all the right reasons. They deserve this. I think we're getting the grand finale here with our fireworks show. emotional night. To those of you at home, thanks for joining in wherever you are. We hope you enjoy it as much as we did. It's a really emotional night for these seniors, especially given the circumstances. Jamie Mara, 
signing off and saying thank you so much for supporting our class. Thanks for joining us tonight. We hope everyone gets home safely. Have a great night. And be safe. Thank you. At Arner Furniture, we have everything you need to complete each room in your home with brands like Sealy, Ashley, Amish Made, and more. Decorate your home with pieces that showcase your personality and style. And our special financing and delivery options ensure your purchase experience is seamless. Let our family take care of your family. Arner Furniture, serving Carbon County with quality pieces since 1968. Online at arnerfurniture.com. Hi, I'm John Kovach. You've depended on the Kovach name for over 70 years. Now we're expanding to better service our customers' needs. Pre-owned automotive and power sports. Service, we're a TechNet professional automotive service facility. State-of-the-art collision center and ICAR Gold Class certified shop. Municipal Upfitters, turnkey municipal and first responder upfitting services. Kovach Incorporated of Nesquahoning. One location, so many ways to serve you. The Andres family has been caring for the heating, cooling, and plumbing needs of the residents and businesses of our area for four generations. With a tradition of treating your family as a member of our family, that commitment is stronger than ever. With the best trained technicians and fast, friendly service, emergency care, and people who treat your home just like they treat their own. So whether you need plumbing, heating, air conditioning, water treatment, or more, call the family that has been caring for your family for four generations. Andres Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Palmerton Garage Doors can accommodate any of your residential or commercial garage door needs. Spruce things up or go with a whole new look. Custom framing. Change two garage doors into one. Or even put a door where you didn't have one before. We can handle it all from start to finish. No separate contractor needed, including custom painting. You can even have a purple door. Call to schedule your free estimate on new installations. We love garages. We'd love to do yours at Palmerton Garage Doors. For almost 80 years, Ted's Used Cars has been building long-term relationships with our customers. If you need a car, truck, or SUV and have little, no, or bad credit, Ted's can get you in that vehicle for as little as $80 a week. You're approved on stability and employment. Get started today with our no-credit check pre-approval and be driving tomorrow. Every car disinfected for your safety. Backed by up to two-year warranty, free towing, and full-service facility. When others can't or won't, since 1949, Ted's says yes. First National Pharmacy, your trusted family-owned and operated pharmacy for four generations. Come in today for all your prescription needs, medical supplies, and vitamins. We have a full line of immunization services for the flu, pneumonia, shingles, and more. Special orders such as pain medications can be placed at your convenience. While you stop by, don't forget to grab all of your lottery tickets, scratch-offs, and 99-cent greeting cards. Take advantage of our knowledgeable hometown pharmacy staff at First National Pharmacy in Lehighton. We want to be your pharmacy because we care. You are watching BRC 13.